when it comes to fantasy films, they don't get much bigger than The Hobbit. Yeah, today we have one of the inhabitants of Middle Earth with us here on the couch, Richard Armitage, better known as Thorin Oakshield, the Dwarf King. Richard, uh, thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me. Uh, look, it's a great film. Did you, did you love being a part of this? Yeah, I mean, I was a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and this book has been in my life since I was 12 years old. It was read to me in primary school, so um, it was such an honour to be asked to come and, and play a character. I didn't realise I'd be playing a dwarf. Because uh, <laughs> you're quite tall for a dwarf. There's I, a lot of CGI. You look like a dwarf. Tall for a dwarf, yes. <laughs> but, um, Interestingly enough, when we filmed, they, we actually got bigger. They, I had lifts in my shoes, and our costumes made us uh, bigger versions of ourselves, which I think was, was very useful for feeding that dwarf ego, because they, they have big egos. They do, don't they? The big yeah. eaters and have big they egos. <laughs> Just on the costumes, I cannot believe you spent four hours a day in hair and makeup. Yeah, and usually we were on set for. I think eight, we spend a long time in hair and makeup. We spent four two, hours, hours. two and a half yeah. a day. Three yeah. tops. We were in the makeup chair at maybe uh, 4 30 in the morning. Um, 270 times. <laughs> do you do a little sleep when you get there? Just like, just stay asleep and just put the stuff on me? You, you know what, it is quite hard to fall asleep because um, they're working on your face. If you, if you kind of nod off, it makes it very difficult. But I kind, of, uh, I kind of meditated a little bit. Oh, no. Now, you spent, of course, it's shot in fabulous New Zealand, or as we call it, mm. you know, uh, <laughs> Hobbitville. Um, and, and you worked with the great, the great man himself, Peter Jackson, and it's such a great thing. Uh, I mean, do you try, I mean, you, I, I've read about you online. You like to be, you're a really great method actor. Uh, do you like to stay in character as, as much? Yeah, I mean, particularly with this role, because the costumes were so so heavy and we were so hot and uncomfortable, um, you just had to be very concentrated. So I used to take myself off into a corner and just focus on what I was doing next. Because if someone talks to you and you break your well, train of thought, say, it's, uh, you it can be quite difficult. Because hearing about the other uh, the, the trilogy prior to this, I mean, they all sound like they had a rollicking good time and they all got tattoos. And <laughs> oh, we had a good time. <laughs> yeah, you had a good time. We, so we didn't get tattoos though, but we uh, we got we got some dwarf rings to sort of ma you know make our bond together. Oh, lovely. Now, you stayed in character. Is that because you were the serious one? I mean, all the others were having a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I tried to give Thorin a sense of humour. It, he has a burden on his shoulders and, and uh, it was hard to make him laugh, but we, we did fight. I mean, Graham and I, who play, Graham plays Dwal, and we played table tennis a lot in the back of the set. So uh, In your dwarf outfit? In my dwarf, in character. <laughs> That was where I got my kicks. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, you, you've also done Captain America and you've done this. I mean, a lot of big action films. Is that where you, you want to sort of push yourself? Because I know you're also musical theatre trained. You were loving that Broadway uh, piece we just did there and you were giving me all the information on the Tony Awards. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, that's where I come from. I come from a kind of musical theatre physical background. Um, and, and all I ever did was, was theatre, really. So um, uh, there's a desire to go back and do some theatre um, this year or next year. Perhaps but, a musical? Perhaps um, Matilda. Maybe a musical. Who knows? Yeah. How about the Hobbit, the musical? Hobbit, the mu I've already been that in Hobbit, be the musical. Great. Have you really? Yeah. When I was thirteen, there was a production in Birmingham with uh, with a full stage production of songs and. And who did you play in that? I was an elf, and the the dragon was made of paper mache. So. Uh, oh, the budget back it, then it was just not the it, same, it, is it? <laughs> yeah. Peter Jackson didn't have the money back then when he was directing <laughs> no, that. No, no, just no. the paper paper mache. Now, the next instalment, can you give us any inside information? I have Because it's quite tightly... I, yeah, I haven't seen it. Have you finished, have you finished the trilogy now? Uh, we go back and we shoot for ten weeks. We've got the Battle of the Five Armies to shoot, which you'll see in movie three. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen a single frame of movie two. Obviously, I've seen all of the characters, but um, I, I think seeing the dragon in its full glory will be... Yeah, small. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be epic. Mate, what a thrill to have you here. We actually have two fans who tweeted me who came from Perth and Adelaide, <laughs> I think. And I dragged them off the rainy street. So would you mind going over and getting a photo with them just after this? Is that all right? Not at all. You're an absolute gentleman. The Hobbit, <laughs> an unexpected journey, is out on DVD today. Not just for nerds and geeks, an awesome film. So go and get it. Uh, I said, and it's in ultraviolet, and I have no idea. Richard told me that it means it's on a cloud. <laughs> um, mate, thanks for coming. We can't wait to <laughs> see you. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet.